Hi, folks, first and seconds. welcome to. Um, I guess this is the first lesson from BB Gun School. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, just um, ask them in the comments. Hello, your computer has. <laughs> um so the the i guess the 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 students we have are techie and uh and uh and autumn plague doctor madbox will join soon too so um <laughs> our sad little school you guys know that you're allowed to talk to <laughs> i like it too okay um so techie asked me if i could show how to make donks yeah and um can we play like a little clip of your music to so show them? Well, what you're um, about? yeah. So this is a, a thing I made yesterday, and uh, I called it uh, this this fucks. But um, yeah, it it kind of fucks, but it kind of sucks as well. Um, so this is what I made yesterday. It's it's a bit of a liquid pew pew kind of donkey style. So take take a listen. <laughs> I... <laughs> pew pew donkey style, solid. Because, I mean, the sounds are cool, but the structure is absolutely fucking terrible. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to make donks. Because, as you can see, I the, this project is made out of just these little samples. And uh, clean, they would sound like this. Let me just show you. Okay, take a shut up. I can hear your music. <laughs> See, it, it, it sucks. It's just like these little percussive sounds. Um, but as soon as I slam on my effects, it sounds like this. And um, that is what I'm going to show you today because um, this is the way I make music. And um, it's actually quite simple because all I just do in my effect rack is um, mainly add distortion and frequency shifters. And pump that up with um, uh, tension tapers and more distortion, and that's it. You just slam it in a limiter, so it kind of it fills up the entire space. So you get this very distorted kind of vibe. And on top of the limiter, you I then put uh, yeah, in here it's before dispersers, which make it sound like pew pew noises, which I like. Uh, can I say one thing real quick? If you don't have Dispersor and you don't want to pay for it, if you have FL Studio, there's a version of it in Patcher. So is like, there? Is there yeah. a Dispersor? Yeah, Sorry. there's a Dispersor in Patcher. I didn't even know that. They have like tonal delay, they have fucking glue, glue um compression, they have everything. Also, if you're on Ableton, I did. I did. Just, never knew that. just put a thousand um, EQ 3s in a group. And you'll be you get that disperser effect. Nice. We do be using Ableton though. Yeah, imagine using Ableton Lamel. <laughs> so yeah, um yeah. I'm uh I'ma try to uh to remove like I'll just remove these sounds to uh display what my effects do to like only a simple percussion sound. This is just a sample pack that I once downloaded and it has these very simple percussion sounds. Um, imagine if I were to put that in one of my channels, the sound would massively change. This is kind of a metallic one, but it is a good example of what um, what my rack or my effect rack does with it. Shorten it and you have a, yeah, well, shorten it like this, I guess. A very, very dispersory sound. You feel the disperser. Um, and that is technically all I do. I can maybe open up a new project and do it all from the beginning, because this wouldn't be really be a lesson. Okay, Techie, Techie and Plague Doctor tell me if I'm a good teacher. You're, you're a <laughs> shite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem, bro. I'm okay. kidding. I'm kidding, bro. Yeah. You do be using Diablo Light. Oh, you're not streaming anywhere? Fuck. 
No, I Why am. do you always have Diablo light open? No, I don't. Yeah, but why do you? You like how do you use it? Diablo light. Yeah. On my kicks. Well, I just wait. Can I? Do you see it? Yeah. I just punch the the punch knob a bit and turn the the clip to soft clip and like turn it up a bit, and then you get a thicker kick. But when you are using kick or kicks, always cut the end. I like to put this on generic the kick itself. Wait, you go double click on the kick, go to generic and take go to none and just shorten it. That's all. Mm. Well, yeah. It just sounds better. Shorter kicks are more are just stronger, and that is just a thick ass fact. The longer you kick, you don't want any fucking tail on your kick because it sucks. So yeah, maybe like a tiny tail like this is fine, but keep him as short as possible. So that just makes him thick. And then just um, punch him with either Diablo Light or Transient Shaper from the Kilohertz bundle, which is by far the, fa the best Transient Shaper that is out there. Wait a second. Prove that I'm a bedroom producer. My dad just came in. <laughs> oh yeah, um, the Kilohertz uh, transient shaper is by far the best one. I don't know, it, it adds uh, a type of crisp that no other transient shaper adds. And um, it just makes every drum short sound thick. It's, it's so perfect. And I know if you don't have money for this shit... FL Studio has a uh, trend in shape or two, but it, it kind of sucks a dick, so. <laughs> well, come on, it, it, it does. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, okay, Um. so I'm going to show you guys real quick on how to... You, uh, you guys are free to ask questions too, your students. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know. I got no questions at the moment, bro. That's why I asked you questions. Alrighty then. That's what you asked me about the, the transient shapers. Oh, um, yeah, transient shapers. Yes. How do I? <laughs> <laughs> um, we really need more more teachers and students. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just make a little patch on. Myself. Yeah, maybe maybe yeah. Should just, like make make a donk just, in front of them. Yeah, just get to the point. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna call one of these channels uh, "Design," which is which is which which is where I'm gonna put my effects in. Um, I first I always first start with pumping up the sound. So I know I don't even have a sound in there yet, but the first thing I do is I pump the sound, um, and I like to add some compression, maybe some Novatron or some uh, some other compression. Um, the second thing I do is frequency shift it minus on minus 100 and that's it you can to get a very cool rhythm effect um, add a reverb that's a very important step but take it down and make it an automation clip bro I'm getting tired already I'm, ne and I'm never going to become a real fucking teacher this is tiring <laughs> okay so let's add some sounds and see what we can get out of them so let's add a percussion sound um right now it still sounds quite weak that's because our uh, effect rack is still quite weak um what we can do to that is we could perhaps add a transient shaper um like the glue which is a very solid transient shaper, and it's perfect for making donks. Um, then limit it, because donks tend to um, crack up your sound a bit, and it can get too much. Um, then add distortion. And disperser. It's not that hard.
And the last thing is just remove the low end. Like around 100 hertz. And you have a solid rhythm sound <laughs> that you can maybe, uh, like, maybe see, just make a little pattern. Maybe use some other sounds, layer shit, because that all that always works. I want it to be a bit more powerful, so let's pump it up a bit further. Let's add another limiter and some more disperser to make it even sharper. And some more of this shit. There are any more questions? I'd I'd love to hear them. Um, how do you? <laughs> God. Um, how do you make flows? How do you how do you make sound design to make flows? How do you like <laughs> to make go flows. from? How do you go from sound design to making like full flows? Um, I don't really know. It just comes out of the blue. I just veer shit. You know the you know the artist. Yeah. Um, and these are all just percussive sounds, and with a ton of dispersers, distortion, frequency shifters, EQing. On well, no EQing yet, but this is only percussive sound. Already sounding pretty solid to me. Um. You guys maybe want me to show you how to how I do my sub. Yes, actually, that would be pretty useful. Okay, um, let me see. Um, uh, my sub is very simple too. Let me just make a little sub channel. Normally, I work with a template where I already have this all structured out, but now I just opened a like a clean project. Um, first thing I do is um go into Serum and change your uh, first oscillator to basic shapes and take the, the sine wave and tune it down to like minus two or minus three. Yeah, let's do minus three. Um, then pump the level all the way up and make this shape in oscillator one and turn it to bar, like to one bar. And turn on trigger mode. And you have a very deep and heavy long sub that doesn't start with a clip because if you don't do this like the the end the automation clip in the lfo it will start with a little clip and i try to avoid that um then i will add distortion the soft clip and pump it all the way up you get a kind of distorted dirtier sub add some noise to that always works not too much like 10 percent, maybe a bit more is good um but as you can hear, the sub still feels kind of weak. So the first thing we're going to do is add distortion in the channel itself, which is saturation, because saturation, sat saturation always works best on subs. Um, maybe add some, some wave shaping and limit it because subs have to be limited. And you have a thick sub. What I like to do then is add a uh, the second oscillator and uh, take the the soul wave and put it on fm from a i know put this one on sorry yeah my bad um turn the oscillator all the way down and turn this to like minus two or minus three and then tweak up the fm from b a tiny bit until you get the uh like a balanced mix from both sounds and this is one of my favorite subs, like for the last, well, the last few weeks now, because um, it works really well with a disperser on a sub. And don't hate me for this. I actually like this. It's a very liquid, solid effect. I don't, I don't know what what it.
Um, it can take me to like three to four months till I actually release a track. I when I'm when I'm making music, I always want one of my projects to turn out better than the previous one. Otherwise, I will not be happy with it, and I will not release it. Just something in my mind, and I cannot handle it if a project is worse than the one before. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm um, making a little pitch automation at the end of the sub where it pitches down or pitches up. You can choose that for yourself. What I did is I made this little automation in a fill in the LFO 2 and I went to the matrix and gave uh, the third bar the task to tune down the master tune um, based on the LFO shape. <laughs> It randomly changed my BPM fucking project. Is that still happening? It's still fucking happening. But let's go. Here we have a pretty solid sub, in my opinion. So if you add this, bloody bloody blah. Well, um, I'm not gonna actually make a full track out of this. I'm. I just have to show. You guys had to make sounds. Let's maybe add this one. Boost it a bit. And put it in channel 20 as well. I hope in the future these lessons will be get more solid. Um, my apologies for a. Um, well, I will add a kick for now, just to get a bit of good idea. Oh, then I have to do side chaining. That's going to be so fucking tiring. Um, I think I'm going to end the lesson. Dunno. I'm done. Goodbye, students. I hope you can take something away from today's lesson and use it in your advance. And I hope you won't hate me for the rest of my life.